Darren Till reveals that he blew his knee out during the fight with Robert Whittaker. He said that it happened when Whittaker knee stomped him and he now thinks that it should be an illegal move. Till also says that he believes Israel Adesanya is actually an easier fight for him than Whittaker was. In the second round, he, he knee stomped me. Uh, like I did to Stephen Thompson, they should be illegal, you know? And uh, it just blew me knee, like, my knee just went <laughs> under me, crashed, and I couldn't, that was it then for the whole fight. I just had to stay static and sort of just fight, fight on it. I hit the pain, he didn't, I don't think he recognised, but I was still in there. I'm not trying to sit here and say, oh, my knee gone, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe it just stopped me bouncing a bit, but, you know, it was, a, it was a real good fight. I feel like I won it. I feel, I feel like we both we both won the fight. No, I'm not saying I feel like I won it. We just we both won. It was a clinically great match. Probably gonna get a little bit of a little bit of surgery now, but uh, that's that's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, you know, I want to get back in the gym. I want to maybe I'll fix that. Get back in the gym. And there's millions of fights out there for me. I'm I'm, I'm one of the top guys in the, in this organisation, and I'm gonna continue to be so. And obviously my knee in that second round, perfect knee stamp, uh, you know. And now that I've felt it, instead of giving it out, they definitely should be illegal. <laughs> I've got a lot of respect for Israel. I think he's a great fighter. You know what? This is no disrespect to him. I think he's probably an easier fight for me than Rob because we both had that. We, we'd probably have a great striking battle. Rob's a bit different because he mixes it up. And I, I know Israel. He's a, Israel's the champion. He's a great MMA fighter, but he's a pure striker. I think we'd have a great fight. Uh, Rob mixed it up a little bit, and he's uh, he's wild. He's wilder than me, Rob. Like he'll, he'll lunge with his head and he'll try and look for. Like he caught me with some cracker shots, and I was just eating them like just for breakfast. Not at welterweight because you know, <laughs> but yeah, well, we're gonna fight. Listen, me and Israel are gonna fight one day. Just give me a little bit of time. I'll come back. I'll knock someone out, and we'll fight. Don't worry, I'm still at the top. Robert Whitaker talks about his fight with Darren Till. Whitaker also reacts to Till saying he blew his knee out. That was the most technical striking fight I've ever had. Uh, it was a chess match. I, I got a bit uh, antsy in the first round, <laughs> and and he, he made me pay for it. And I just remember thinking, oh, not like this. <laughs> but honestly, it's I got back up and was like, no, got to get back to work. Changed it up a little bit, and it was just a chess match from then. It was, he was waiting for me to come in. I was waiting for him to come in. Now I understood that it was a very close fight. I, uh, I think my, I think the second round was definitely mine. Third round, fourth round could have gone either way, but I, I think I, I showed my my championship level mentality and experience in in that last round, especially when it was so close in the hands on the stand-up game, and then to finish it off taking him down was, you know, I think a, a big boon in 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 the scorecards for me. He he needs surgery on it. He thinks. Like with what? What do I do? He stomped on his the stomp? knee. And it sh he, oh. he said he heard the whole knee just pop right away. Ah. Oh. I'm going to stomp more often. <laughs> he actually no. says now he thinks they should be banned, but he's joking. <laughs> I want soccer kicks back. So, um, on, on, honestly, it, it's, it's a weapon I utilize. I think, I think it's a tricky kick. I think you have to time it well. I think the accuracy of that kick has to be done well. Obviously, I did it from a switch stance, so I, I threw it with my right leg, if I'm not mistaken. So it was a bit off-putting, a bit trickier. He, that, that's the chess match. That's the chess fight. That's why it was so technical, is because he, we were both trying to, to wait for each other, to counter each other, to wait for an, our, each other to, to open up so that they, we could capitalize on, on each other's holes. That's why I had to chip away at his defenses from the outside. I had the calf kick, I had to stomp, I had to, I had to work on the outside. Not only does it do damage, but it also racks up in the scorecards. Mauricio Shogun Hua speaks on his third victory over Antonio Rogerio Nogueira. He also reveals which one of the three fights was his favorite. Yes, I come in for here for a fight and uh, one more war, Nogueira, a little, because I know he's very top guy, very top fighter, and uh, your game is very aggressive fight, in box, and my game is Muay Thai. And uh, every fight is war, Ali Nogueira. Yes, he's very strong. He's punched very strong in my face, but... Uh, yeah, uh, he's a very strong fighter, very tough fighter. He landed some good blows. It was hard, but thankfully I was able to withstand the punches, the pressure. And also I made a mistake of blowing my nose in between rounds. 
and then it so my eye got swollen. Uh, my coach, uh, the, the final, the first round, my coach say, you win, but maybe Nogueira win, but Eduardo, Rafael Cordeiro and Danilo say for me, I win. And uh, I win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy uh, for, for finishing uh, Carrera Nogueira here for your final fight. I'm very happy. And uh, he is very top guy and very top fighter. I respect him. And I'm very happy for this moment in your career, in your life. Which one do you think was the best one? The first. <laughs> because my opinion, uh, the first time in uh, Nogueira is the top five, the best for all time. Well, uh, he was very happy because he respects uh, Little Nog a lot, he's a legend, and uh, he accepted the fight. A lot of people ask him, why would you accept the fight against a guy that you already won twice? And he said that I accepted the fight because I knew this would be important for my legacy if I was able to win, would be another huge step in my career. And I'm very happy, thank God, that everything came out well and I got the win. Earlier this week, we interviewed Yuri Prohaska. Yuri talks about his recent KO victory over Volkan Ozdemir and who he wants to fight next. So you just had a really awesome win uh, against Volkan Ozdemir at UFC 251. Uh, you won performance of the night uh, against a really dangerous opponent. Did it, the fight kind of play out how you thought it would or did anything surprise you? Uh, everything was uh, like we think about that. The, everything was uh, nothing, nothing in fight. Nothing surprised me. Maybe, maybe the, maybe how how he pushing me so much. He was uh, he tried to be so much active, uh, and uh, it was a little bit a little bit so much than we expect. But uh, but I like it. I like to be st stay in contact. To be, to be uh, all the time in the danger. Yes, that's the, that's I, I like it. That's my style. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was a really awesome fight. Uh, I know you said at the post fight press conference uh, you weren't super happy with the performance. Maybe uh, you know you thought you got hit too much or something. Uh, but what mistakes do you think that you made in there? And uh, like, what do you think that you'll learn going into your next UFC fight? Uh, there is so much. There, there was. Uh, so much mistakes from my side. Um, the punch, how how he punched me. I know how to how to feel good in in these moments, you know. And uh, there was so much these uh, situations. So I like for the next fight to upgrade these mistakes and uh, be better in movement and uh, in my precision to 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 punch in the, the target from from the start because i i know when i uh, when when i find the target and uh, and i catch him in the right moment it's it's uh, work is done but uh, there was so much mistakes sorry uh, oh no <laughs> sorry for that <laughs> You've also made it very clear you're going to fight whoever the UFC puts in front of you. You really don't care who it is. But um, looking at the other people in the light heavyweight division, is there anyone that would excite you based on how they fight, their style? Maybe anyone that jumps out as someone like a really exciting matchup. Yeah, that's that's a good. You 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 keep, you ask me a very good question. If if somebody, it's uh, for me. I like I like him. I like the style of, of every guy in uh, in my heavyweight division, but uh, there is no so much people. I like the uh, Johnny Walker is very in interesting. Uh, Corey Anderson and Thiago Santos. Oh yeah, that would be an awesome yeah. fight. That's one. That's one of one of my. I, I like I like these guys. I like every these guys because I I watched watched the, these guys before I go the the the, the, the UFC. 
and uh, now I'm here and I don't hate them never I I, I, I can't do that but uh, I won't I, I won't I won every every my fight I just want to show my power on the top on the top level in the highest level and uh, that's all that's all and that's gonna wrap it up for the news. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to Full Mount MMA and click the bell icon to be notified when we post future ones. Here are the three top comments from last video. The first one's from Eric and it says Izzy can fight Till after losing to Costa. The second one says real big of Bisping to admit he's embarrassed about his eye. Can't be easy for him. And the final one says seeing Gus get armbarred made me lose hope. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured on the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. Also, be sure to check out the other types of MMA content we post on this channel. Click either of these two videos on the screen right now.